Good morning to the honorable guests, respected principal, ma'am, faculty members, and my fellow mates. Myself, Manchik Hambata, Innovation Coordinator of IIT. It gives me an immense pleasure to extend a very warm welcome to all of you present here for the workshop on Entrepreneurship and Innovation as a Career Opportunity. The Institute Innovation Council, an initiative created by the Indian government, is conducting this workshop. It hosts events and lectures on topics such as startups, innovation, intellectual property rights, and entrepreneurship. The goal of the committee is to actively promote a positive culture to build a startup ecosystem and encourage innovation. Today, we have with us Dr. Smita Sohani, who will share her thoughts on entrepreneurship and innovation as a career opportunity. And our second guest speaker, Ms. Shraddha Utkash, who will impart her valuable insights on entrepreneurship skills, attitude, and behavior development. Now I would like to invite RT ma'am to enlighten us with a few words. Over to you ma'am. Thank you Mansi. A very good morning to one and all present. I see the students are still joining in, but let us begin. On behalf of BNCP and the IIC, I extend a very warm welcome to our guest speakers, Dr. Smita and Ms. Radha, the attending faculty and all our students. Uh, Pansi has already introduced the IIC, but the primary mandate of the IIC is to encourage, inspire entrepreneurial spirit in our students and imbibe, in their, in, imbibe them with skills such as critical thinking, design thinking, innovative thinking, and basically develop an entrepreneurial mindset. With that purpose in mind, we have had several sessions so far learning from the people who are role models who have already made it in the startup field. Our today's speaker, Dr. Smita, is no stranger to us. And many of us will remember her previous session where she had absolutely charmed us with her engaging talk, peppered with many multi with multiple examples and case studies. And today promises to be another fulfilling day. I encourage all our students to proactively participate and interact with our esteemed guests and take back from them the essence of what is needed to make us successful in our chosen fields. So with that, I hand it over to you, Amansi, to take forward the session. A, wel a warm Thank welcome you, to both of you all again. Thank you, Ajima, for your precious words of wisdom. Now I would like to start with first workshop of the event and express gratitude to our esteemed speaker, Dr. Smita Suwani, who has accepted our invitation to preside over this workshop. Dr. Smita Suwani is a human resources trainer at Life Transformer Pune, management teacher of finance by AIMA New Delhi. Not only that, she is also a stress management professional and a law of attraction master. So without any further ado, let's begin with workshop on entrepreneurship and innovation as a career opportunity. Over to you, Smita, ma'am. Thank you so much. And a very warm welcome to all the students, uh, teachers, my ex-student, Shraddha, who is joining here as a faculty today. So, uh, without taking much of your time, let me straightway go to the topic. And the topic that is given to me today is entrepreneurship as a career opportunity. So I have a question to the forum uh, and I would expect the students to participate to the extent possible. How do you interpret the word entrepreneurship? Yes, Aditya. Ma'am, entrepreneurship means we are the own owners. I mean, like there is no one above us. We are the uh, basically like we are the boss. OK. Great. Taking the risk of starting can, your own business. Students, you can keep your videos on so that I can see you so that the session doesn't become a little dry, you know. If possible, please keep your videos on. Yes, someone was saying something. Someone was talking. Taking the risk of starting your own business in the respective field. OK, taking the risk of starting business in the respective field. Great. Something to add. Yeah. 
let me go to the screen sharing i'm here is my screen shared not yet ma'am okay just give me a moment is it shared now yes yes sir yes <clears throat> so do we mean self employment when we speak about entrepreneurship or we mean a business running your own enterprise a startup or joining your uh, family business or maybe some chacha mama or some business in your family or expanding a family business when we speak about entrepreneurship rather we include all these things and let me take you to this particular screen where we try to discuss these two things i think the screen is now full sharing mode so a person who starts a new business venture is called as an entrepreneur that's the very basic definition of it and an entrepreneur brings factors of production together and creates wealth in an economy so before we see that video let me again stop sharing here and uh, let me ask you a question have you heard about this thing that uh, factors of production economy because you being pharmacy students i would just like to find out have you heard about this thing or i should spend a minute on this particular thing and then go ahead yes ma'am in high school we had economics as a subject so there uh, i okay. have been familiarized with this okay a few students are aware just let me give you an example suppose you are traveling from mumbai to khandala and say somewhere after panvel you start seeing some land which is still unutilized huge pieces of land when you look at that land you must be thinking ki who must be owning this land what is the purpose of having this land which is unutilized no agriculture no residential uh, uh, say constructions here no factories at the same time you are also aware of people who have ample money these are people who are looking for opportunities to invest but what will they do in uh, uh, by, uh, by just buying uh, empty plots of land and how much land will they purchase so there are people who are looking for investment but they don't want to invest in land there are people like you and me and many more who are looking for jobs and they may not be getting a job so if we see there are people who are available with some kind of skill sets education who are willing to take up some job they are not getting a job there is ample land available but that land is not being made uh, proper uh, utilization there are people who are ready with money to invest but they don't know where to put the money and now you come into picture you say aha something clicks in your mind and now you have a business idea where you would utilize this plot of land by starting a new business by giving employment to a lot of people and requesting investors to invest in your enterprise so who are you you are an entrepreneur so when we are making an attempt to define the concept of entrepreneurship or an entrepreneur he is or she is a person who knows how to bring land labor and capital the three basic uh, factors of production together so that they are able to create some wealth till you as an entrepreneur were absent from the picture the land was not utilized properly so it was not adding any wealth to the economy there were people who had surplus savings money to invest that money was not creating wealth for the investors and there were people who were ready with the skill set but they were not getting a job 
now what entrepreneur does is he is able to foresee things and he can bring all the factors of production together to create wealth and then the picture is now entirely different now you can see some factory will come up some mall will come up some kind of business a holiday resort there are so many possibilities then you will see the uh, say a lot of chahal pehal will begin then uh, municipal corporation will come and they will work on the road or midc will provide you certain kind of facilities so that your factory runs well someone will come up they will have a canteen someone will run parking security and then you will see that wherever the wealth was earlier not being created in a year or two suddenly the entire picture will be different so uh, truck wala tempo wala delivery boys courier people so many people will start getting employment i am not essentially speaking about job but some kind of opportunity to earn their living and that is called as creation of wealth and now let me share the screen with you once again and we are here so we were speaking about this particular thing where we said an entrepreneur is a person who will create wealth in the economy and one more thing innovation is the key to success why many entrepreneurs do not succeed is because they try to imitate something which has already got a huge success then we say are ye idea ghisa pita ho gaya and then such entrepreneurs may not get sufficient amount of success they may also provided they make an attempt to enter a entirely different geographical market as well so here in on the first slide we made an attempt to understand who is an entrepreneur and what is his contribution to the economy let me go ahead with the next question how many of you would choose entrepreneurship as your career how many of you would choose entrepreneurship as your career yes lot of students are raising hands madam students are raising hands yes great so still out of 66 students i can see seven eight hands around 10% great around 90% still may not be thinking of entrepreneurship as a career some students are scared if they raise the hand will they be opted out of the college placement service or something like that so we are not talking on those terms the thing is many times there is some kind of social stigma against accepting the fact that i or someone may have some kind of inclination towards entrepreneurship and there are these social stigmas are somewhat like this what if i fail my parents can't give me that much money so how will i begin or someone may think that i come from dash dash background and that dash dash may vary from rural background from say uh, whatever and because of that will it be possible for me to become successful and there are so many questions and therefore many people may not even think about giving it a chance so i believe entrepreneurship is something where we will get a lot of opportunities to explore different faculties of life just now i gave you an example when a startup comes up somewhere in a particular area immediately what will happen is the government will look after the road someone will come up with a hotel someone will come up with some kind of stay arrangements there then like this a person who starts some enterprise gets a chance to see how life flourishes around his business and that is something which is very unique so again let me take you back to the screen sharing we were uh, we were speaking about different opportunities that are available to us 
when we speak about entrepreneurship so the first few opportunities which i would like to speak about are a little common to start with let's begin with trading so here we can think about running a small shop a mall or an online store or a door to door sales you can participate in exhibitions you know organizing and participating in exhibitions itself is a full time career opportunity then you can become a government supplier so what do we do here basically in trading as a career we may not be manufacturing things here so we source in material from the manufacturer or from the right place it may be in india or abroad and we make it available to intermediary buyers or to the consumers so here what will be the profit that we will be earning it will be like the uh, gross margins that we earn or after sales service that we may provide etc so generally if you see take the example of a car if you see the price of a car which is x company and x road you will find there is a huge difference and a good amount of difference is a profit margin which the showroom owner can also earn and therefore trading though it appears to be a very tri- uh, typical and traditional career still has got a good deal of career opportunity here see all of us would require different things we will keep on buying we will do shopping as a hobby or there is binge shopping also uh, festivals will keep coming birthdays are there and because of that trading as a traditional career will never die and then if you try to add some innovative thing in the trading i think sky is the limit especially in a country like india which has got a huge population trading will never die as a career option another option is professional so here chartered accountants doctors lawyers artists horoscope consultants vastu consultants there are n number of professionals who can offer their professional services so what is the difference between point number 2 and point number 3 i have mentioned service provider separately in point number 3 these are the services like repairs and maintenance accounts writing cleaning water tanks these are just examples huh? so a beauty parlor club etc so the difference between second and third point is in second thing as a professional you as a personal your personal characteristics your charismatic personality your contacts your capacity to serve your client would matter more even your knowledge would matter more as against that when we speak about second thing service providers for example say your laptop is not working well and you try to uh, contact a service center of dell or lenovo or whatever whoever is there providing the service you uh, uh, don't even ask the name of that person as against that when you go to a doctor that doctor or the lawyer or the chartered accountant his knowledge and his capacity to understand your need and serve you is something that would matter okay ultimately professional services and the point number 3 service providers may uh, work together so a uh, chartered accountant may provide accounts writing service which i have included in point number 3 so similarly now whenever time permits you can do this exercise you what kind of professional services you can provide or what kind of other services you can provide immediately you don't have to start a business in that area ha huh? but at least make an attempt to identify what could be the areas where you think you can provide such services it will 
open new opportunities or new doors or it will give you a new way of thinking maybe over a period of time a few friends can come together and 5 years down the line you can think about having your own startup in that particular area i have just given you an example here if you can see this this is a typical trading business can you see a music shop here so you can see different musical accessories madam uh, requesting you please put it on uh, full mode it is on full screen mode na no madam uh, just just click that side wala that percentage is there na percentage it below. is still not on full screen mode no 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 ma'am it is not on side mode. now yeah no let us press no? f5 madam f5 ha i have pressed f5 only mm. no not getting madam anyway not you can uh, go ahead madam anyway. okay okay okay. Yeah, yeah. okay so here i have given you an example of a music shop if you can see uh, there are a few musical instruments here musical accessories cds dvds etc you can see that there is instruction and workshop also so here there are a few musical uh, music teachers available in the shop itself who can give you demonstrations or who can take classes so i just now spoke about being innovative with a traditional business i will stop sharing for a while just now i gave you an example i said ki trading as a traditional career will not die because we people will keep on buying things and we people will keep on requiring n number of things around those things that we buy so uh, here i show, uh, showed you that example so a little bit of innovative tadka to a typical tra uh, traditional trading business how would a typical old fashioned trader do the same business he would run a music shop and he would keep instruments there you would go there and you would ask ki aapke paas harmonium hai kya ya aapke paas guitar hai kya but now if you see this innovative musical shop you will find that you can touch different musical instruments there are uh, instruction uh, specialists there who will give you demo the kind of opportunity that you get here to have the feel of the musical instruments will increase the chance of you buying a musical instrument from there moreover you will join music classes or instructions there itself so see how many kind of possibilities you can open with innovation so typically the traditional career is trading so यहां से एक गिटार खरीदा शॉप में रखा यू आर सेलिंग इट आओ खरीदो जाओ वेरी टिपिकल ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच बट नाउ विथ अ लिटिल इनोवेश इनोवेटिव थिंग द चांसेस ऑफ यू आर डूइंग बिजनेस एंड एडिंग मोर प्रॉफिट मार्जिन आर ऑल्सो देर सो वी स्पोक अबाउट फर्स्ट थ्री वेरी टिपिकल ट्रेडिशनल आंट्रप्रेनरशिप करियर्स लेट्स गो अहेड now i'm uh, speaking about the fourth thing that is agro based business now just close your eyes and think about different agro based things which connect to your life just close your eyes and think how many of you got up today and a glass and had a glass of milk in the morning has some connection with agro based business how many of you put sugar in the glass of milk does it have some connection with agro based business so food is something which we will require minimum four times in a day come what may may it be a uh, a morning glass of milk or dry fruits or breakfast or, or meals or spending time in canteen with your friends or whatever so 
if we think about traditional and non traditional careers that one can have in this particular field traditionally we think about farmers farming then uh, these days in last decade or so we are also speaking about organic farming so there is something called as spnf non toxic farming no chemicals used then uh, gi index is available then we can think about planting medicinal herbs so this is something which is little non traditional on one hand we say these are the ayurvedic medicines or herbs that we require on the other hand we say hi vanaspati durmil ahe so why it is durmil if it is not available why someone is not thinking of planting it so just try to identify huge opportunity that might be there so instead of going in for traditional farming which may not have good amount of profit margins people may think about non traditional farming so here you may form a company also and you can have a startup where you get attached to a group of farmers who will grow these medicinal herbs for you and you will do the marketing packaging and whatever things think about food processing the moment you eat something like vada pav or dosa you think about having sauce with it or cheese with it so food processing is something which has got a huge opportunity especially think about certain thing like for example onions you can see that in a certain season a lot of farmers come out with onions onions and onions and suddenly you will find that on or uh, the price of onions falls now the onions are available for 10 rupees a kg and the farmer is not getting sufficient margin on that now farmers will stop farming onions 6 months down the line onions are not available in the market and now we as a consumer are not getting onions now the price of onions is 120 150 rupees a kg as an entrepreneur do you see an opportunity here to innovate so here can you have a plant where you can dry the onions with the help of some machinery and make the onion powder available at the same price at very good quality packaging 12 months of the year throughout the year if you have such kind of innovative ideas then you can prepare a business plan then approach a banker bankers are willing to extend loans to you there are n number of government schemes so here again on one hand you get an opportunity to serve the farmers community as well because they may not be having so much of good connect with the end users and you will be providing a good service to the end users also because as an end user we also don't have a connect with the farmer so likewise if you think about say uh, making available dried fruit powders or dried tomato powders or onions or such kind of things tomato sauce or so many things are there so food processing is also another great opportunity commission agent this may sound a very typical traditional outdated career but but it is not these are the people who will connect the farmers to the end users then agro tourism a lot of opportunities are coming up here so either you can have your own agro tourism uh, initiative or you can act as an agent of some agro tourism initiative or you can organize tours say for senior citizens or for school children a niche area and you can educate these people about what agriculture is and then just think about the number of schools which will be available and even if 1% of the schools in india become your client throughout the year 
you will be taking school kids to these uh, agro tourism initiatives what kind of satisfaction you will have a stress free work environment working with kids working in the vicinity of nature and bringing farmers community and the urban kids together am i able to connect with you give me yes. a little bit of response do you find it exciting when you think about so many possibilities okay so at the back of your mind you might be thinking hum to pharmacy ke student hai kahan agro tourism karenge so right now keep that particular barrier aside right now just think about what possibilities could be there okay it's not essential for you to immediately start a business 6 months down the line just keep thinking on these lines and 2 to 5 years down the line a lot of many more opportunities will open then we are also talking about different things like uh, floriculture on every birthday you will require a flower bouquet on 14th feb or for every corporate event in marriage functions even when people die hai na and how much of consumption of flowers is there at religious places also so floriculture is a great option available in agro based business even after the uh, flowers are utilized we believe ki people throw it in dustbin so in the last session if you recollect i had uh, shared a video where women are coming together and they are collecting these flowers which are thrown in dustbins and they are taking extracts of the flower petals and they are making essence out of that and that essence is being sold to uh, different fragrance uh, manufacturers later so there are so many opportunities available here also then terrace farming is coming up as new career opportunity in urban areas where we people don't have gardens around but terrace gardens are always available so uh, terrace farming consultants if you are aware they would just charge you a thousand rupees for a visit provided they have a knowledge then think about having say 100 housing colonies in your client list where you keep visiting people visit their terrace gardens again in the vicinity of nature and would it be rewarding ki jo paudha aapne 6 mahine pehle unko laga ke diya it is now blossoming and they are remembering you ki ha hamara xyz consultant hai unhone hamara garden bana ke diya just think about these possibilities then maintaining parks and gardens etc or the all these have some connection with uh, some agro based or Uh, such kind of things then cottage industries these industries are like leather khadi silk cotton weaving then papad pickle spice business you can have bachat gat of women here then metal handicrafts carpet making or different artisans let me uh, share the screen again Uh, we are here is the screen shared yes yes ma'am ma yes, ma think about an initiative like fab india just think about a lady who is manufacturing some items like this someone is knitting someone is weaving now if you are able to connect these people to the urban consumers like us does it sound interesting so who are these people these are generally the rural people who have their own cottage industry they may not have a good connect with urban consumers who have money in their pocket 
naturally what will happen is they generally will have to sell the goods that they manufacture to the local agents the local agents may not provide them with a good margin and these people may not get rewarded well so if you have a social uh, enterprise here you are able to connect these people with urban customers you can do export as well is it clicking your mind hmm? so we now spoke about possibilities in cottage industries or khadi gramodyog that kind of industries another possibility is you can have your own industry a uh, small medium or large scale industry so you name a few industrialists which you know at least try to identify some industries that are connected with your life i will stop sharing now a few industries which are connected to your life ma'am pharma industry pharma of course yes ma'am textile industry food textile industry, food cement cement cosmetic industry cosmetic electronic software. software great so again whenever time permits you can take up this exercise just divide your class into 10 groups okay in each group there will be a few students and each group will take up one industry to study now think about a funnel a funnel has got a triangular shape like this so when you think about a particular industry say pharma industry then take an overview of pharma industry all over the world then come to the overview of pharma industry in india then come to the overview of top 5 pharma companies in india and then try to have a little bit of company specific information like for example if you think about sipla then who started sipla what was the career path of the promoters of sipla what is their profit margin what are the drugs that they are manufacturing and see if this kind of knowledge that you build in next few days in the 10 groups in your class is able to inspire each other because then in one month or so you will be ready with the success path of more than 100 successful entrepreneurs in india correct right? so whatever may be your area of interest you can connect to that particular thing which your friends have already collected for you just go through that quickly and then that will again open new doors of thought see from such kind of sessions what is expected is you should widen or expand your horizons that is what is expected hmm? so okay uh, going back to the next point i am again sharing a screen i hope uh, the session is making some meaning to you many students have this question so i have just taken a screenshot for you i hope you are able to see this this is bharat ka rajpatra the gazette of india which defines what is sukshma udyog what is lagu udyog and what is madhyam udyog so एक करोड़ रुपए से अधिक का निवेश नहीं और उसका कारोबार पांच करोड़ से अधिक नहीं दैट इज सूक्ष्म उद्यम दैट इज माइक्रो स्मॉल इज टेन करोर्स ऑफ रुपीज ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड कारोबार इज टर्न ओवर फिफ्टी करोर्स और लेस मीडियम इज इन्वेस्टमेंट इज फिफ्टी करोर्स और लेस and karobar that is turnover which is again uh, 250 crore 250 crore sell less so this is what the gazette is telling us i hope the screen was shared so what kind of scale you want to choose is up to you there is something which is called as tiny industry also 
which is even smaller than all these sukshma lagu and uh, medium scales so here you can have a business which is even less than uh, 25 lakhs of rupees so once you have that kind of idea you will understand which government agency to approach for funding uh, let's go ahead we are thinking about uh, entrepreneurship as a career option and i am taking you to the next slide now we are talking about possibilities so in the beginning we spoke about imitative entrepreneurs a few imitative entrepreneurs can become successful even though they may not have a great business idea imitative is copying some someone else but then for example an idea which works in the usa market can be imitated and copied in mumbai you have a pilot or a test run in mumbai in one locality and if it works you can uh, scale up the business so that is a possibility so something like uh, home based delivery businesses etc initially when they started in some country they were great innovations today they are not great innovations as such but you can imitate or copy them a little differently and you can do a great business there then you can have innovative entrepreneurs innovation is something where i, I would like to share a screen here i might have uh, shared the screen earlier this is my favorite example which i share in almost all my sessions just give me a moment i am sharing the screen it's a video is it shared now Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Enjoy. Ma'am we cannot hear the audio. is it is it yes ma'am we yes. can't hear the audio okay i'll share it once again otherwise from video itself you will be able to understand smita madam i hope uh, you must have switch on that uh, yes option which is there on the top yes. right yes yes for the audio right yes okay okay can you hear it now ma'am we cannot see the video we have not uh, shared the screen okay i hope now you can see also and hear also Ma'am, just play the video. Huh? Ma'am, so it is not audible. Arey, but I have selected the option. I don't know what happened. One last attempt. Otherwise, we will just go. Madam, if you can increase the volume, you increase the volume of your computer, probably. Okay, okay, I will do that. It is hundred percent from my side. However. one last attempt 
this is screen sharing include computer sound and this is the video no there is some challenge here so madam can you share this uh, link of that video on the in the chat box hi then it's not from it's not from youtube it's not from youtube age of technology and progress yeah we can hear now ma'am okay persevere great with the forward <laughs> umbrella thank you come in from the rain close the umbrella you've got a wet floor this is just one of the many problems with the current umbrella design meet engineer Janan Kazim the inventor of Casbrella it is in our nature as human beings to improve things but when i see something wrong in design i have to work and try to find a solution to it this faulty umbrella design has been with us for 3000 years and i think we can do better and who doesn't know better the patented mechanism we've developed encloses the wet canopy on the inside leaving the dry side to handle and it does this without compromising on the umbrella's familiar look and usability we are discussing innovative entrepreneurship here finally after years of research and development we bring the casbrella first to you on kickstarter see the new design of umbrella Coming in from the rain, you simply close the casbrella just as you would a normal umbrella. And then you drip free, home and dry. Have you ever tried entering a car with an umbrella? What a nuisance. You have to close the umbrella first, exposing yourself to the rain, get wet, then enter the car with a soaked umbrella, and then all your important papers are now ruined. It's also a challenge exiting the car if you want to open the umbrella and still stay dry. Well, not anymore. The casbrella closes into the smallest of spaces, keeping you and your belongings dry all the way. I'll stop sharing now. I hope you liked the video. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Yes. So we were discussing something like imitative and innovative entrepreneurship. so if you have your own umbrella manufacturing plant you might be imitating the earlier design and that may still work huh? and this is something the video that we saw is innovative entrepreneurship so what innovative entrepreneur tries to do is he tries to identify the problems in the existing products and he has some kind of new ideas over there now if a typical umbrella is available for say rupees 99 to say rupees 500 in a range do you think this new casbrella kind of ulta chhatri will be available in this price range now think about the kind of profit margins the entrepreneur can earn now this will be a premium pricing and a premium class will uh by this kind of product okay so on one hand you are able to resolve the existing problems also on the other hand you are able to earn a premium pricing also let me take you uh, through the last two three points because the time given to me is coming to an end how many of you are aware i hope the screen is shared now again 
uh, how many of you are aware about the concept of social preneurs i just now gave you an example of an initiative like fab india where women who are weavers or who do embroidery or knitting or that kind of thing and uh, the uh, garments manufactured by them are sold at a premium price in india and abroad so on one hand there is a connect with rural india also on the other hand there is a premium pricing also and the requirement of people who want to buy genuine articles who want to support the rural india who want to support the artisan class who are willing to open their pockets for this particular artisans class they also get genuine products another example that i have shown Uh, you may find it x kind of thing x x sulab international che ma'am ye kaun sa example diya but everywhere you must be observing that sulab international is making available a facility of toilets can you think about a need that indians had not identified just till the last decade and now if you see a uh, thousands of people who otherwise wouldn't have got jobs in mainstream market have got jobs through sulab international and let me not speak more about the need of a human being that sulab international is serving this is social entrepreneurship if you have heard about uh, make india read initiative have you heard about amrut deshmukh what amrut deshmukh yes, does is yes so it's a social entrepreneurship right so amrut deshmukh uh, reads uh, best seller books prepares a summary and that summary is made available to you that is supposed to inspire you to buy that book and read the book completely and the uh, name of his initiative is make india read so it is again a social enterprise then have you heard about elderpreneurship elderly people most of you must be aware that kfc was started by a senior citizen and in his initiative also uh, quite a few times he had failed but he made one more attempt and finally he was uh, so successful so elderpreneurship is also coming up in india because you know ek to pensionable jobs are not there that is one thing and secondly there is a good deal of elderly population which is available in the country and which is not sick they don't have any disease they have good deal of energy they have a good deal of experience also and they are willing to contribute so elderpreneurship is also coming up quite well in india so here also if you are networked with such people which could be say senior citizens clubs or elderly care centers you will find a good deal of opportunities there also again it will have a social angle also because you will be then connecting these uh, grandfatherly generation to the mainstream business in the meantime you will also earn your profit margins and then intrapreneurship for entrepreneurship the example that right now comes to my mind is um, if you have read the book of uh, rashmi bansal the last story in her book is mr dangyaich so he ran the company syntex syntex tanks as if he was the owner but he was an employee so when we think about entrepreneurship as a career we can also think about intrapreneurship as a career so here you are not owning the company you are an employee but you run the company as if you own it so you have that sense of belonging you are innovative you are interested in every aspect of that business and now tell me isn't intrapreneurship something which is required for getting a promotion in a job as well and therefore 
let me take you quickly to the myths about job employment is secured no this is a great myth about job or placement you can be removed from job any time so employment is secured no employment guarantees fixed income no if you see ctc kind of things cost to company you will see that fixed pay is less and performance based pay is more and generally the employments would not guarantee fixed incomes anymore employee earns pension retirement benefits haha <laughs> gone are those days okay now just uh, speak to people around and try to find out kisko pension ka job milega perhaps no one now employment has fixed working hours not anymore employment has less responsibility who says everyone can get a placement in organized sector or corporate with 5 days working medical facilities and lot of holidays are you sure and then everyone gets a promotion after every 2 3 years in a job are kuch nahi kiya to bhi 3 4 saal mein to mil hi jayega no that's again a myth this is the point where i connected you with the concept of intrapreneurship people who show intrapreneurial spirit that means they work as an employee with the spirit of the owner of the business such are the people who will get promotion every 2 3 years others somehow will have to run even to stand at the place where they stand otherwise companies don't mind removing them from job so we made an attempt to see different myths about job similarly there are myths about entrepreneurship as well somebody said in the beginning you are your own boss you enjoy complete freedom mm, i doubt you are your own, your own boss okay but a government officer is also your boss your employee is also your boss your customer is also your boss okay in a job if you take care of one boss it's enough here everyone is a boss ha huh? you become a millionaire if you have your own startup that's again a myth so that's why i suggested uh, try to read 100 success stories together and then you will understand that behind one success story there is at least an effort of 5 to 15 years of a uh, uh, extreme hard work that is going in you can choose your work timings if you are the owner of your business ha means you can choose to work for 20 hours or 22 hours in a day then entrepreneurs are exploitative people they think only about money this is what media pictureizes so these people exploit the workers they don't pay salaries they eat away all the profits this may not be the right picture hmm? think about people like ratan tata or azim prem ji or narayan murthy uh, these are not exploitative and these are great entrepreneurs whom we are proud about a great business idea is essential for entrepreneurial success is another myth a simple idea which can solve the problems of your market or your people will also help you in becoming a successful entrepreneur and startup is a risky affair somebody spoke about this also in the beginning every startup is not a risky affair provided you learn how to prepare a business plan and Uh, how to follow your time schedules and the business plan properly uh, so bachcha company there is a huge stuff which we can discuss in entrepreneurship as a career in last one hour or so i made an attempt to introduce different possibilities to you so if there are any questions the forum is now open Um, thank you ma'am firstly it was a really amazing one and we i'm sure all of us enjoyed 
and i am sure uh, there would be people who are willing to ask the questions so if anyone wants to ask the questions either raise your hands or send your questions in the chat box the first question is ma'am are there copyright issues in imitative entrepreneurship yes we are not talking about copying someone's product okay we are trying to learn from someone's success story and we are trying to have that kind of independent business okay so uh, i hope you understand the difference between uh, infringing someone's copyrights or having that kind of illegal business we didn't speak about that okay so thank you for asking that question imitative does not mean that we are illegally copying someone and that is wrong so tomorrow if i start a business in the name of say haldiram saying ki ma'am tumne hi bataya tha imitative no that is not done so i can have smita's mithai shop so i can learn from haldiram's success story and then i can have my own mithai shop and haldiram can be my role model okay i can learn from them you understood now okay great thank you so much one more question how to balance studies and entrepreneurial journey how to raise funds for your venture uh, yasin that is a great question government has different uh, schemes here uh, to start with if you are a, a beginner and a fresher you can start with mudra yojana uh, go to the website of mudra yojana and see uh, where you fit Uh, then uh, meet nearby nationalized bank take the appointment of the branch manager and learn from him what is the documentation format that is required hmm? then uh, for that you will be required to prepare a business plan uh, generally it is observed that because of uh, work pressure the branch manager may not entertain you at the first go so don't be disappointed okay uh, speak to that person take an appointment and uh, try to communicate in such a way uh, that you are able to reach up to the branch manager and you are so genuine and keen on creating opportunities for you and your fellow residents ultimately uh, branch managers also have got targets correct so once Uh, they are convinced that you are a genuine person and you want to do it they will uh, provide proper guidance to you hmm? so one more question how to gain contacts in the market i think the next session uh, shraddha ma'am is a marketing expert uh, this question can go to shraddha ma'am then how can one find an investor for their startup so such angel investors are available uh, perhaps we can take one more session separately on that where we will speak on preparation of business plan because there will be a lot of finance thing involved in that okay uh, then a lot of documentation is also required for that but yes such investors are available if you have seen the movie made in china not a very serene kind of theme though Uh, if you have seen the movie what they have pictureized is a person who wants to have his own startup finally gets a funding from someone who is running a agro farm somewhere okay uh, in suburban area and i think he has a go shala or something and this person has ample fund and he is interested in investing so the filmy part Uh, a part but there are people who want to invest and then is mba and work experience needed before starting a startup uh, the exercise that i told you uh, divide the class into 10 groups and different industries and different success stories so that exercise will give you the answer i will just take one name dhirubhai ambani was a drop out from education for whatever reason correct 
so completing mba is not must i am very sure that it would add value but if you are not an mba you won't be successful is not the mantra and what are the key traits of an entrepreneur mihir uh, a lot of traits are required basically the thing is a capacity to innovate perseverance and capacity to take risk uh, these three things are there which would differentiate an entrepreneur from a typical manager hmm? and then uh, someone also asked about studies and startup time so for this a typical uh, time management schedule will help you so divide 24 hours of a day into three slots assume you require 8 hours of sleep so from 11 pm to 7 am uh, do not try to utilize this time for your say business uh, and business plan as such and now you have two slots of 8 hours 16 hours in a day in that plan your studies in 8 hours and plan for whatever business related knowledge you want to gain you want to meet people you want to take interviews you want to read and you want to prepare your business plan in the remaining 8 hours okay so 16 hours in a day properly managed will uh, resolve this particular problem so what step should one take to expand and grow their business uh, disha i think we would require an entire session on this so expand and grow their business so in what sense in numbers so from 1 crore to 100 crores or from one market to another from mumbai market to all over maharashtra to all over india or throughout the world so in what way you want to expand and to what extent you want to grow so we will speak on this in some other session so a lot of questions have come up i am very happy to take them all but uh, i can see that time is also ending and shraddha ma'am is also waiting so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to be connected with you all i hope the session wasn't boring and now i hand over the session to shraddha and i'm very sure her session will be much more interesting so over to you shraddha yeah before uh, before that madam uh, some students will talk then we will uh, introduce okay. madam and then we will okay. go ahead okay 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 yeah, yeah. so um, thank you so much for addressing most of our questions not all i can say because of course the time and now i would like to invite dr sandeep zine sir to present a small token of appreciation to smita ma'am uh, yes uh, really madam uh, thank you very much for this insightful talk and as you know the 21st century has given a birth to the ultimate beacon of capitalism and that is entrepreneurship and uh, you know uh, these days a lot of students after graduating from university just uh, take or this uh, opt this particular uh, uh, kind of opportunity or maybe just uh, have a hope to get uh, sizable rewards from this kind of entrepreneurship and uh, you know an entrepreneur's career generally revolves around taking risk then the planning then organizing streamlining then leading and managing a business venture in competitive market and you have given very insightful talk on all these points and some of the punchy reasons why entrepreneurship appeals so much to students as a career so one more time uh, thank you very much and this is just a small token of appreciation for this uh, your thank talk you so much. definitely definitely we will call you for our further sessions which revolves around entrepreneurship thank you thank you so much and i wish all the students take this uh, uh, or at least look at this uh, possibility 
of having a fulfilling life experience through entrepreneurship as a career all the best thank you okay thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much ma'am and i hope you all enjoyed this session now we'll be starting up with a second workshop on entrepreneurship skills attitude and behavior development after 5 minutes of break <laughs>